it's great to see the turbines there now going up and to know that in a few weeks they'll probably be turning and producing power. The feeling is that uh, finally it's happening, I believe, and uh, to me they're a, a kinetic sculpture almost because the, to, to me they look very attractive. It's putting to use land that uh, was, you might say, dormant. Now it has become an asset to the town to have this land being leased by Iberdrola Renewables because now it gives it a, a bit of an income to the, uh, both Monroe and Florida. This is one of the first in the area and we were able to do that, Hey, which ties right into the Hoosick Tunnel. We were the first to have that put in and uh, people are very prideful about that too. You got to remember too that electric generation has been in our history for, well, since the atomic plant and the, and the uh, hydroelectric all along the river. They've been a huge part of employment and taxable income for the town, keeping our property taxes down. So that's been very positive. That's where they've been patient. And most of the patients come from the folks who have lived here all their life. Lots of people, they'll ask me, uh, you lived here all your life? I'll tell them, not yet. <laughs> I was pleased when Iberdrola Renewables came along and actually started the construction. But the, the reason that the uh, land, some of it belongs to the different towns is because it was land that was taken because the taxes weren't paid on it. So it was land that wasn't profitable to the people that had it or they, they would have uh, paid the taxes on it. Hans Bakke is probably one of the people that should be credited for the project. 20, 30 years ago, he got a hold of some developers and said, gee, I think there's wind on this ridge. And now we're conserving 800 acres plus out there with Iberdrola, so the land isn't going to be developed. We have had many, many, many meetings uh, over the first couple of years uh, with the town, and the townspeople, the majority of the townspeople, were for the project, wanting to see it go forward. When we finally saw the access roads going in and finally saw the windmills going, I mean, wow, this really is going to happen this year, and it really is going to be completed this year. It does mean approximately $150,000 a year in revenue coming into the town. It will definitely help keep the residents' tax bills even or, or lower. This project has brought in at least two years worth of jobs from surveyors and engineers right up through to the guys that run the backhoes and the excavators to the truckers. Just looking at the amount of trucks that have come up and down the hill, you know, all the folks that might not be working right now because there is no economic boom in this area. But because when Iberdrola came up here, you're starting to see more trucks coming up and down the hauling gravel, and they're local. So there has been a lot of local benefit, you know. And I've even benefited from my firm who's worked on here and kept us going when things were, you know, kind of up and down. But it's just been a very positive experience. It's an exciting project to undertake. You know, in New England, it's mostly developed land you're working on. It's mostly brownfield projects where you're redoing something that's already developed. So it's great. It's so nice to work on something that you can show other people. And, you know, we all have internal excitement when we finish any job, and we did a great job. But to be able to share it with people outside of construction and that they can see it and realize it, it's been very nice to get positive feedback from some of the other companies that we've worked here with and the owner. And it's a great, rewarding project, and it's giving back to the community as well. And the overall whole project was a great pride project that we're honored to be a part of. And there's been pride. Like, yeah, I think the folks in town do take some pride. We're glad that it's here. I think that uh, eventually we will get away from the use of uh, fossil fuels. It's thrilling to see the turbines are going to be producing renewable energy, just like the uh, hydro plants are producing. It doesn't rely on the fossil fuels. We have power that is coming from the wind, and the wind is certainly plentiful up here. You ask anybody that lives here, and the wind does blow quite frequently.